What's up everybody, welcome to Video Tech. So it's time for another Red Dragon review and this time it's of the Mirage, one of Red Dragon's wireless gaming mice that retails for about $25 on Amazon or 250 Rand on Rebel Tech here in South Africa. Now, like I said, the Mirage is wireless and I know wireless in gaming does not really mix, but let's find out how the Mirage feels and performs. Do you live in South Africa and want to get yourself some awesome new gaming products? Well, check out Rebel Tech. They have extremely low prices and they stock all the major brands like Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, Corsair and many more. You can check out some of the new products they got in from G-Skill and Cougar Gaming. So visit rebeltech.ca.za to get the products you're looking for at a low price. First off, inside the box along with the mouse you get the manual, a quick start guide, the CD with the drivers on, some additional glide pads and the USB wireless receiver. But now let's check out the design of the mouse. And starting with the left side which has three programmable thumb buttons, one at the front and two at the top. Then you also have a nice big thumb rest with some rough textures against the side to help with grip. You also get three grooves that will let the red LEDs light shine through. Moving on to the right side which has the same rough textured grip on the side and the three grooves for the LED lights. But now at the front of the Mirage on the right side where you would rest your ring finger it just has a sudden drop which did make it a bit uncomfortable to me. They could have made it that it just has a bit of a curve so there's actually some place to comfortably rest your ring finger. But luckily my pinky was fine. Moving on to the left and right mouse buttons, which does need a tiny bit more pressure to press compared to a standard mouse. But when gaming I did automatically adjust the pressure I applied and it was no problem. The scroll wheel is illuminated on the sides and has a rubber texture grip to improve scrolling. The scrolling did feel a bit sluggish with the Mirage being wireless, but that is to be expected. Beyond the scroll wheel is the up and down DPI switches that lets you cycle between the 6 DPI levels that range from 800 to 4800. Those 6 levels are unfortunately locked so you can't have your own custom DPI level for something like sniping. Then taking a look underneath the Mirage where you get 5 small Teflon glide pads that gives the Mirage a nice smooth motion. You also get the optical sensor, a bay for the single AA battery which was not included unfortunately, the slot for the USB wireless receiver and the on, off and eco switch. Now on and off is self explanatory but what eco does is it turns the mouse off after a few minutes when not using it to save battery life. There's no clear indicator on how long the batteries will last, but it's probably going to be a few months on a standard battery. But moving on to the software which lets you assign different commands to each of the 8 buttons. You can also make and assign your own macros to any of those keys. Of that you can adjust the polling rate, sensitivity, scroll speed, double click speed and turn on the enhanced pointer precision for the mouse. But now let's get into how the Mirage actually feels and performs. The Mirage is pretty comfortable except for the spot where you would rest your ring finger but other than that it's pretty good. For performance it's not the greatest as you would have imagined. The movement feels a bit sluggish which is something you cannot have in an FPS especially not in competitive. I was able to play CSGO with it and it was pretty decent but it was not the greatest gaming experience I've had. But now this mouse is not really aimed for competitive gamers. It's for casual gamers that just want to play some Minecraft or the odd game here and there. And for that the Mirage does a pretty good job. Being wireless it gives you the freedom of taking it with you when you just want to relax on the bed and play a random game. The range isn't too bad for it as well, giving me no trouble being about 5 meters away from the receiver. Just don't put the receiver at the back of your PC, make sure the receiver and the mouse has line of sight, otherwise it could get some connection drops. So for only $25 or 250 Rand, this is a pretty decent mouse for casual gamers or somebody who just wants a second wireless mouse that is able to handle gaming now and then. And that's it for the review, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, please like, share, subscribe and comment. Also if you're looking to buy the Red Dragon Mirage, you can check out the links in the video description where you can buy it on Amazon or on Rebel Tech here in South Africa. 
Also, I am doing two giveaways. The first one being my monthly game giveaways, which is internationally. The second one is unfortunately only in South Africa. But anyway, the monthly game giveaways, every month I give away a game. And it looks like the game for July is gonna be Players Unknowns Battlegrounds. So if you want to win the game, please check out the link in the video description. Like I said, it is, it is internationally. But as for the second one is only in South Africa. So if you live in South Africa, you can win yourself the Cougar Gaming Chair, uh, which is sponsored by Rebel Tech. So if you haven't watched my previous video of me actually unboxing and building the chair, you can check that out. And then also check out the link in the description as well to enter that giveaway. So like I said, it's only in South Africa, unfortunately, because it's such a big item. It's really heavy. It's about 25 kilograms. So I can't really ship that. It's almost going to cost more than the chair on its own. So it's only for South Africa. Um, and like I said, again, it's sponsored by Rebel Tech. So big thanks to them. Uh, the giveaway is going to run for a month. So it's like a, like for reaching the 5k subscribers as well. So it's like an all-in-one thing. So if you want to win the Cougar Gaming Chair, you can check that out in the link in the video description as well. Same with the monthly game giveaway. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers guys.